I got my big helper Jack here today. Jamie is off running carpool for cheer. So she's got a car full of girls that she's taking from one school to another so that they can get their cheer practice done. And they don't have room for Jack. So he's here at the house helping me. What we're doing is we've got these 90s that come out that are fastened securely to the wall. You could use a PEX plastic 90 and secure it with one of those C-clamps that I was hammering in, but since these have to be screwed and they have a shutoff valve on them, I wanted them to be brass so that they're a little more stable. I think I feel like that's going to hold up longer. Okay? Oh, that's soft. Yep, it is soft. Hold it tight. Don't let it, don't let it roll. I'm going to spin this. We're going to do about three wraps of that. Okay? Then we pull it and snap it. Okay, hold that. Don't let it touch the ground and get dusty. So we've got Teflon tape on our threads. I'm also using T plus two. One or the other would probably be fine, but I'm doubling up because I don't want to ever have to redo these. I don't want them to leak. And then we thread that on just like that. Okay, you think you can spin that on a little bit? Spinning it extra. You're spinning it extra. Get it as tight as you can with your fingers and then we'll hit it up with the wrench. Do we have to do it this way? Yep, you're turning it the right way. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Unless it's a reverse thread or left hand thread. Did you get it tight? Mm, yeah. Look how tight it is. What we're putting on here is a half inch to three inch compression adapter and the PEX pipe that goes up to the sink fitting will be able to go in through here. You screw this nut on and it's nice and tight. Find the balance on one way, guys. Okay, we're gonna have to wrap again. You ready? This side. <laughs> what are you doing, Jack? Find the balance on one way. All right, here. Okay, hold that tight. Okay, you, you hold it tight and I'm gonna wrap it. All right, so. Okay. Whoops, we almost forgot our T plus two. Can I put on this time? I'm gonna do the T plus two. Yeah. It's, it's kind of goopy and I wanna make sure it's right where I want it. All right. No, I wanna twist it on. Okay, you twist it on. Oh, this one's gonna get tied up in this one. Uh, I think that's enough. You think that's enough right there? Yeah. These are tight. Okay, now I'm going to tighten them with the wrench. You want to help me do that? Yes. Push them this way. Push them this way. Okay. Use all your muscles. You got it? Lift up. Yeah, get into that. Don't slip off. Careful not to slip off. Man, you're getting that so tight. Get in, hide with this one. You think you got it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna work on the other one. Make so you always screw these tight on. Yep. So Jamie told Jack if he came and worked with me at the house, he could draw on these walls because they're gonna get covered up. So he is excited about that because he's not allowed to draw on walls, right? Oh, you got that pretty good. I didn't have to do very many turns. Right. And here. Yeah. A little. A little. Tiny. So I just got my delivery today. We have a high flow household filtration system. This is made by GE and it is designed to filter the water coming in from your water main into the house. We're going to be setting that up today and I've also got a sediment filter and it's also supposed to remove chlorine and help with taste and odor of water. So when we had the home inspected before we bought it and before we started doing the demolition, we had the water pressure tested. It was at 60 PSI, which is in a good range of pressure. So I'm not worried that the pipes are corroded or anything coming into the house. They are galvanized. So that may be an issue later down the road. For now, we're gonna go with a filter. These have to be replaced every 30,000 gallons. 
That typically lasts most households about three months. So at $20 a filter, I'm about $240 a year to filter the water versus about two or $3,000 in equipment rental and time and digging up the water main so that I can replace that. We're at least gonna try it out for a few months, see if it works, see if it keeps the water from having any like rust or anything like that in it. So the iron that causes rust is what's considered, it falls in the sediment region, and this is supposed to be able to remove that. So hopefully it does well, we're gonna hook it up today. So over here on this wall is where I'm installing the PEX. Now here are the basement stairs and I've got some plumbing and things that'll be rerouted and some sewer lines that go through there that I will fix. And on this wall here is where I have the water main coming in. So I'm pretty sure that this is the main line coming into the house. It's three quarter inch galvanized pipe. And this line here is my only question mark. This goes to the rest of the house here. I think this goes and feeds the outside faucets. There's one over here on the east side of the house and one on the west side of the house and I'm getting rid of both of those. We'll have a new water faucet for the backyard hooked to the addition, and I have a water faucet hooked to gray water out front. Well, we got a little bit of a leak happening here. I'm hoping that that is just backfill in the water running out from this pipe here, because the main should be off. I mean, they're not really shooting out any water, and I don't have anything else to this pipe connected, so. I feel like that's a good sign. I think this is the main line coming in. Yeah, just a couple little drips like I thought, nothing pressurized, no, no real leak there. We're to the point where uh, I need Jamie to stand downstairs when I turn the water main on and yell at me if the water squirts out and out of which pipe it comes out of so that I know where to cap it. You didn't tell me that's what I came over here to do. <laughs> Should I have brought like an apron or something? Yeah, you'll be all right. Just just uh, try not to scream if it starts just like hosing the whole basement down. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna run upstairs. Okay. Call me so that we don't have to yell because I probably can't hear you way out by the street. I need to know if the water is coming up through here or down through here. Because if it's coming down, this is the water main. If it's coming up, this is the water main. Got it, I'm calling you. Okay. Pick up. Did you answer? Yep. All right, I'll let you know. There's a lot of spiders down here. Well, spider webs. <laughs> yeah, they're just the webs. <laughs> I hope they're just not any spiders. All right. All right, I'm a little close. You want me to back up? Or is it gonna not square everywhere? Okay, I'm turning it on. You getting any water yet? I'm bracing myself though. No water. I'm, I'm halfway on. I'm trying to go slow. No water yet. Oh, oh bottom, it's bottom. It's bottom. Bottom? Yeah. Okay, for sure. Okay, because I'm going to hook all the plumbing into that. For sure. For sure, it just came out the bottom. You have you have videographic evidence, so you can watch the video. <laughs> All right, I'll come watch the video. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, so right over here next to my PEX manifolds, I'm installing the water filter. Maybe soon we'll get some proper lighting down here. So the GE filtration system, and I'll, I'll put the link in it below with the exact model number I got. It had really high reviews online and on Amazon, which, you know, people can really tear stuff up on Amazon. So if you have high reviews on Amazon, you're winning. This is one of those moments where I, uh, you know, I forgot my ratchet set again. I don't really need it for a ton of things, but all this little plumbing stuff, I've been needing it more and more. I'm gonna have to bring it over. All right, now I'm just bolting the filter unit onto the bracket here. I've got a brass nipple and I'm just gonna wrap Teflon tape on it and then I'm also going to use T plus two. I'm gonna do about four wraps of Teflon and then I'll do the T plus two 
And this nipple coming out will allow me to get down to my reducer so I can get to three quarters of an inch. This T plus two paste is really nice. It combined with the Teflon tape, I shouldn't have any leaks on this ever. All right. All right, now I'm gonna put the female adapter on there, and this reduces down to three quarters of an inch, which is what I'm running from the water main. Now I just have to do that to the other side. I'll put some shutoff valves, and then this will be ready to run over to the manifold, and this side will be ready to run to the water main. This is my in and my out, and it has arrows directing the flow, so it's easy to remember. Okay, so now I've reduced down to the three quarter inch. I can get my three quarter inch PEX line on there. And out with the handy dandy crimper with the light. Okay, I think I'm gonna put my shutoff valve just really, really close. All right, now I have, I can bolt this shutoff valve up. I might run something out there, but that's pretty stable on that short run of PEX. This turns on and off really easy. So now that I've got this side built, I'm gonna build that other side. The filter doesn't look like it has a top or a bottom, and it doesn't specify. I'm gonna just drop it in and screw it back on. to get like a little hook or a hanger so I can leave that close. So it has a bypass that'll shut it down and you can just run water through there or you can select filter. So it's off completely, filter, and then there's a bypass and we're gonna leave it on filter. So next to go in line is this T-coupling. So the reason I'm doing a three quarter inch T right here is because I need to get down to my cold manifold and I also need to get over to the hot water heater, and this tea will be plenty to feed both. So I'm going to leave it a little long, and I'm going to run it over the top of my other pipes, just to give it a little more room. I don't want to put so much flex on here that it gets a kink later down the road. Now that I'm looking at it, that's a little messy, so I may come back in and just 90 down and then come over, that way it's not twisting all over the place. I decided it would be best to run some 90s on this one. I gotta go up and through the floor joists on this, so this one's got a little farther to travel. We are almost done with the dingy dark basement, hopefully power soon. So the plumbing is taking a little longer than anticipated. Two things are happening. I'm having to connect to an archaic galvanized system. I cut out as much of that as I possibly can, but we're also starting to prep things for the shop space. So that's cutting into some of my house time. And it's been like 20 years since you've done a significant amount of plumbing. So it takes a little bit longer when you're doing a trade you're not used to. I used to work for a water company all the way back in high school and we installed water mains and things like that but it's been a minute. I'm super excited for the filter because basically we pretty much just drink water and occasional glass of milk. Water's huge in our house, so it'll be nice to have nice filtered water. It'll also keep all of our pipes clean and keep our fixtures looking good because it'll keep whatever's in that galvanized pipe out of the house. Keep the rust out of the laundry. Sorry you guys didn't get to see Jamie a whole lot in this video. You got a little bit of me and Jack. She's been off home since school started. There's been like a million other things we've been having to do running errands and getting all of that stuff organized. It's all about teamwork. So he's putting in the plumbing and I am at home doing the laundry and fixing our house because we neglected it for weeks and it's pretty bad. So that's where I've been at. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. We have a blog on there, plus all the DIY products you can need to help support our channel so we can create more content. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Bye guys. Hit the 
subscribe button.